When taking notes, we often don't consider how to take notes in a way that will help us to get the most out of them later. In this video, we look at 5 methods for taking effective notes. Number 1. The Cornell Method In this method, you divide your sheet of paper into 3 sections, with a margin on the left for cues, a small summary section at the bottom, and the main notes section. In the main notes section, you write down all of your notes, whereas the cues are used to write prompts and headline points to keep a note off. The summary section is a brief review of what's in the notes section, to highlight the key points of your notes. This method helps to organise your notes in a structured way, and allows you to easily identify the key sections of the notes. Number 2. The Charting Method here the page is divided into columns labelled by category, with details of each category filled out in the rows below. When information about a category is mentioned, note it down underneath the appropriate column and once the next topic begins, you move down one row and do the same. This makes facts easy to review and highlight key bits of information for each individual topic. It also helps to organise notes in a systematic and easy to follow way. Number 3. The Mapping this method is particularly effective for visual learners who prefer diagrammatic notes to help them form structure to their notes. The page is organised by topic, where the main topics branch out into subtopics with detailed information about each. Begin the map with the main topic, after which you branch off and write the headlines for each of the subtopics. Write important notes underneath each subtopic and continue this pattern for each subject. Number 4. The Sentence Method In this approach, each line on the page is a new and separate topic, where you can also use headlines for each of the main topics if you want to give a greater sense of structure. Write down important information in sentence form or point form, whichever you find easier to remember and use later on. Each time, start a new sentence or point for each new detail, using headings to organise points by main topics. This method helps you to determine which information is important and which is not, and allows you to cover lots of details and information quickly. Number 5. The Outlining Method In this method, each section starts with a heading of the main topic, with each subtopic and supporting fact written underneath the heading. Begin your notes with a single bullet point to write down the main topic, then place the first subtopic below, slightly indented to the right, and list the details below that. This method helps notes to be organised, and it is easy to see the relationships between the topics and subtopics. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe as we help you to live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.